Hi, my name is Brady Schnell and I'm the Economic Development Officer with the Town of Clare's Home. Since 2019, along with my other responsibilities, I've managed the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot in Clare's Home. The RNIP, as we call it, has been my first experience with immigration as it pertains to my career. Myself, I'm a third generation Canadian. My grandmother immigrated from Ireland with her husband, eight children, and pregnant with my mother. My mom would become the first of her family to be born in Canada. I'm so pleased to be included in the National Workplace Inclusion Forum, and I want to recognize Laura Branner and Andrea Hladdy for including me in this important event. Laura Branner is coordinator for the Lethbridge Local Immigration Partnership, and Andrea is the acting interim director at Immigrant Services for Lethbridge Family Services. The town of Clare's home is located in southern Alberta, just one hour south of Calgary. With a population of just under 4,000 people, we are the smallest community to be participating in the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot in Western Canada. In 2019, when the IRCC announced that Clare's home would be a part of the RNIP program, the phone lines lit up. My inbox was flooded and the town staff didn't know how to respond. CBC Calgary, Global Lethbridge, and our regional radio stations were all calling for interviews about this new program and the small community in Alberta that was the only one to participate. Temporary workers and prospective immigrants had a lot of questions, but so did the local community. What was this program? Why had Claire's Home applied? And what did it mean for our job market? Our first open house on rural immigration had 150 people attending on a blizzardy winter night. And for us, those were big numbers. When we launched the online Claire's Home Employment Portal, there were more than 800 profiles being created every single day. Today, the Claire's Home Portal has more than 24,000 unique profiles with language assessments, education credentials, resumes, and passports all from people around the world who are interested in coming to Canada and maybe living and staying small town life in Claire's home. For a community with no local immigration services, the response was overwhelming. Thankfully, our neighbors in Lethbridge and Calgary were ready to help. The Town of Claire's Home Economic Development Committee has partnered with the Calgary Catholic Immigration Society to provide settlement services and a welcoming and inclusive environment. Over the last two years, we've been a part of a great movement to create Willow Creek Immigrant Services here in Clare's Home. The RNIP is an employer-driven program in that candidates must have a full-time job offer from a local business in order to qualify. Since April 2020, 14 employers have used the pilot program to recruit skilled workers to invite them and their families to come live and work in the town of Clare's home. As of September, more than 800 community recommendations have been issued by the 11 participating communities in Western Canada. So why did Clare's Home Economic Development apply to participate in the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot? It all started with the data. Business visitations and employer surveys are a part of a healthy economic development strategy and the data collected helps identify opportunities and actions to support local business retention and expansion, the creation of jobs, and the diversification of the local economic base. In 2019, the Town of Clare's Home Economic Development Committee recognized a need for more people in the local workforce. In the fall of 2018, Family-owned restaurants, gas stations, fast food, transportation, food production, farming, and health care all indicated a shortage of labor in the local market. Our local Tim Hortons could not stay open 24 hours a day because they didn't have the staff to do it. El Molino Foods was turning down national grocery contracts because they didn't have the staff to run a second shift on the production line. The evidence was there, so when the opportunity came along, it wasn't a hard sell. The Chamber of Commerce, Willow Creek Adult Learning, Family Community Support Services, and several local employers submitted letters of support for Claire's Home's application to the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot. Now, two years later, 
Halfway into the pilot, Claire's Home is starting to welcome newcomers to the community. Families have migrated from around the province and around the world to set up a new life in Claire's Home, and it's opened up a new landscape of partnerships for the town of Claire's Home. Immigration is now a fundamental part of community economic development at the municipal level. Having this unique opportunity to manage an immigration program at the municipal level has allowed me to strengthen relationships with local businesses. It's opened my eyes to the fact that we have over a hundred temporary foreign workers in our community at any given time. Our restaurants, food production service, transportation, healthcare, across all industries, immigration is an important part of our local economy. The work that's being done at the National Workplace Inclusion Forum is important and it needs to continue. Over the last two years, I've recognized some employers treat their people very well, have excellent workplaces and excellent track records, while other businesses have areas to improve. It's important that all of our workers in Alberta and Canada feel protected, valued, and secure in their positions. Canada is a wonderful place to live and the creation of a workplace charter is just another feather in our cap. I want to thank again Lethbridge Local Immigration Partnership Coordinator Laura Branner and Lethbridge Family Services for including me in today's presentation. Thank you and goodbye from Claire's home.